Hello, I'm Sarah Ziegler, Export Assistance Manager at Ohio Development Services Agency, or commonly as you've heard it, ODSA. Good morning to our Ohio guests, and good evening to our co-hosts and guests at SME Support Japan. We appreciate your willingness to join us at this late hour. Tokyo is currently 13 hours ahead of us. I want to thank the company representatives, elected officials, economic development professionals, and organizational leaders for joining our discussion. We understand that your time is limited, especially during these unprecedented times. Your participation is truly appreciated, and we know that it will greatly benefit this unique collaboration. Before I introduce our first guest, I would like to offer a few housekeeping remarks. This webinar will be recorded ODSA will send the recording, slide deck, and an informational brochure about our export assistance programs to you for review after the event. To ensure the quality of the webinar, all participants have been muted. Everyone is encouraged to ask questions through the Q&A button located at the bottom of your screen. We will address those questions at the end of the event. I am now honored to introduce Director Mahalik of Ohio Development Services Agency to offer greetings and a brief introduction of the agency. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Sarah, and good morning, everyone. Uh, it is great to be with you uh, this morning. Um, we uh, are excited uh, to be able to present uh, our, our, new, our new friends uh, and partners at SME uh, Support Japan, and we're grateful uh, for their co-hosting uh, the webinar uh, today. We had a great trip uh, to Japan uh, with Governor Mike DeWine last September, which honestly uh, feels like a whole lifetime ago, given uh, the current state of events uh, around the globe. Uh, but we had an incredible uh, meeting and an incredible opportunity to meet uh, with the leaders of SME Support Japan and with regard to the J Good Tech platform. And I got to tell you uh, that as soon as I uh, learned more about this platform, I thought, wow, what a great way to really engage and do some substantive matchmaking uh, between Ohio companies and Japanese companies and vice versa. But we were going to, to have uh, a visit uh, from our friends at SME Support uh, Japan uh, to Ohio back in March. But as we all know, uh, things uh, turned uh, a little different uh, for, for all of us uh, during that time. And so they were not able uh, to join us. But since then, uh, the team at SME Support Japan and our export assistance team at development have really helped keep uh, that relationship going and have arranged uh, this particular uh, webinar uh, today uh, for you. Um, as, as most of you, I'm sure, uh, are aware, Ohio has a very, very long-standing uh, special relationship uh, with Japan. Um, I've actually uh, been fortunate enough, as my term uh, as mayor of the city of Findlay in Northwest Ohio, to make several trips uh, to Japan uh, because it's, it's helpful uh, to that economic, educational, and cultural relationships uh, that all of our communities across the state uh, have uh, with, with, with Japan. Uh, we know ten, 10 Ohio cities have relationships uh, with Japanese cities, uh, whether those are friendship cities or sister cities, uh, including Finley's relationship uh, with Kawaguchi. Uh, Ohio also has a sister state relationship with Saitama Prefecture uh, that we're excited uh, to celebrate uh, uh, coming up here very soon. Uh, but more importantly, I would say that there uh, are many Ohio companies that have outstanding trade relationships uh, with Japan. In 2018, Japan was the fifth largest export market uh, for Ohio products. And that year, uh, Ohio firms exported nearly $1.7 billion worth of products to Japan, which was an 18.9% increase, so almost 19% increase uh, from 2017. Now that slipped uh, a little bit uh, in 2019 to $1.55 billion, but still uh, that was well above the value of exports in 2017. Some of the top categories, uh, that uh, top export categories uh, were vehicles and parts, industrial machinery, including computers, and of course, aircraft, spacecraft, uh, and other parts. But there are a ton of opportunities in many other categories, including plastics, steel, aluminum, and many others. And what you learn here today is going to be able to help your business find new partners in Japan 
and build uh, ultimately your bottom line. The Development Services Agency wants to help uh, you in this endeavor and our Export Assistance Office has programs and expertise that can help strengthen your export business. Let me quickly outline them for you here. The office has three specific programs. We have the IMAGE program or the International Market Access Grant uh, for exporters, and it can help you pay for marketing your products and services uh, internationally. And the next application round uh, for the IMAGE grant actually opens next month. The Ohio Export Internship Program, this is actually one of my favorites, uh, pairs college students who have taken export-focused coursework with companies that want to build their export business. And the next application round uh, begins soon for internships in the summer of 2021. And then the International Market Support Program provides companies with contractors in foreign countries who offer research and customer leads uh, to businesses. Basically, they're Ohio's resource on the ground in different uh, countries across uh, the globe. And so to learn more about all of these programs, you can go to exportassistance.development ohio.gov uh, and at that website you'll also find contact information for our entire export assistance network offices around the state and there are actually advisors in those offices that are available to provide counseling and assistance to help your business grow uh, internationally as we get started here i want to thank again sme support japan for making uh, today's webinar possible i'm certain that you're going to learn valuable information and find new partners uh, for your business Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your insightful remarks, Director. It's always a pleasure. It is now my pleasure to introduce Director Takiguchi of the Market Support Department at SME Support Japan for greetings and introduction of the agency. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for your introduction. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Katsuhisa Takiguchi from SME Support Japan. Uh, first of all, thank you to all the participants here for joining us. I believe many of us have been affected by the impact of COVID-19, and I truly hope that we can beat this global pandemic as soon as possible. We are delighted to have this great opportunity to go host today's informational webinar with ODSA. Everyone at ODSA has given us great support from the very beginning, and I would like to take a moment to express our great thanks to the director, Ms. Lydia Mihailik, and the entire ODSA team for preparing this webinar together with us. In this webinar, we will deliver an introduction of our organization and an overview of Japan, including our economy. And finally, we would like to introduce J Good Tech, J Good Tech, an online business matching platform. I would like to begin with a brief introduction of our organization. Uh, we are from the Organization for Small and Medium Enterprises and Regional Innovation Japan, or in short, SME Support Japan. We operate within the competence of Ministry of Economy, Trade, and Industry of the Japanese government. Next page, please. Our organization plays a central role in comprehensively implementing national policies for small and medium businesses through its nine regional head offices, SME training institutes, and incubation facilities located across Japan. Uh, SME Support Japan provides a broad range of support tools, including consultations, training, and financial assistance through funds to meet various SME needs in areas such as startup, new business development, market expansion, and international business development in order to achieve SME growth and regional vitalization. Uh, this slide shows who we support on a daily business and explains the official definition of SME in Japan if a manufacturing company has less than 
approximately 3 million US dollars of paid in capital, or if it has less than 300 employees, then that company is considered a small and a medium enterprise in Japan. Uh, roughly 3.5 million companies uh, fall into this broad category, and it includes companies of wide ranging size, from small town shops to larger medium sized companies. And when combined, these SMEs comprise 99.7% of the total number of companies in Japan. Yes, most companies in Japan are small and medium businesses. Unlike major corporations, SMEs lack marketing power due to not having enough, enough financial and human resources. So even though many SMEs own excellent technology, products or services, they are often not recognized by the world. In response, our organization collects data of excellent SMEs, and we have developed an online business matching platform called Jagdeck that we currently operate to connect SMEs to the companies worldwide, including companies in Ohio. We hope to accelerate business matching efforts between the US and the Japanese companies with the hope to achieve co-innovation in both countries through JEGDEC. We look forward to your participation and a membership on the platform. Thank you for your time and attention. Thank you, Director Takiguchi. I'm very much looking forward to hearing more about the platform from your team. I will now introduce our next speaker, Mr. Hanabusa, Deputy Director, Market Support Division, for an overview of Japan. Mr. Hanabusa will deliver his remarks in Japanese with consecutive interpretation by Mr. Abe. Thank you. From here, I will provide a brief overview of Japan. My name is Seiji Hanabusa. I will speak in Japanese and have it translated into English. まず大きな視点から説明すると、日本では、カリフォルニア州より少し小さい面積に、アメリカの総人口の約3分の1が生活しています。そしてGDPはアメリカ、中国に次ぐ3位に位置づけています。from the macro perspective, Japan is slightly smaller in size than the state of California, but we have one third of the US population with 126.5 million people. As for the GDP, you may be surprised that we have the third largest economy in the world with approximately 4.9 trillion US dollars, following only after the US and China. GDP in Chumokste. 日本の経済の成長を見てみると、第二次世界大戦後から日本の経済の成長は著しいものの、1990年代初頭の経済のバブル崩壊以降、経済は約20年の停滞期に入りましたが、近年小幅ながら回復傾向にあります。Looking at the growth of the Japanese economy by focusing on GDP, although the Japanese economy experienced a remarkable growth since the end of World War II, the economy was stagnant for nearly 20 years after the burst of the bubble economy in the early 1990s. But in recent years, although marginal, it has been recovering and trending upwards again. Nihon-no-sangyo-lead-shite-iru-no-wa-jidou-sha-gyo-kai-de-Honda-ya-Toyota-no-yo-na-kyo-dai-na-kigyo-ga-gen-zai-no-nihon-kei-zai-o-kei
This can be seen in Japan's major export items, as shown here on this slide. 一方、主要輸入品目を見ると、日本は天然資源に乏しい国なので、石油、ガスの輸入量が多いことが見て取れます。<笑> On the other hand, when looking at the major import items, you'll find that Japan has a large share of oil and gas imports because we have relatively low availability of natural resources. また、日本を経済を悩ませている問題もあります。日本も他の先進国と同様に人口減少、高齢化が問題となっています。このままでは日本のマーケットが縮小することが懸念されており、日本の企業は海外のマーケットに進出する必要があり、中小企業も例外ではありません。The Japanese economy also has critical challenges. As with other developed countries, Japan also faces unprecedented rate of declining birth rate and aging population. When the trend continues, it is inevitable that our domestic market will decrease in size. And companies will need to explore business opportunities and capture new demands overseas. And SMEs are no exception. 特にアメリカのような巨大で先進的なマーケットに進出することには大きな意義があり、SME Support Japan が今回、JEGTEC をアメリカに進出させている背景とも言えます。So, developing businesses and expanding into a giant and advanced market such as the United States is especially of great significance. And this is the reason SME Support Japan is introducing JEGTEC to the United States. ここからは JEGTEC の説明をします。ご清聴ありがとうございます。Thank you for your attention. We'd like to move on to the final and main topic of this webinar and provide an introduction of JEGTEC platform. Hello, my name is Zendai Abe from SME Support Japan. Together with ODSA, we're promoting the use of JEGTEC online business matching platform in the United States to accelerate partnership building between excellent Japanese SMEs and great American companies. By maximizing the use of JEGTEC, you'll be able to look for matching opportunities with Japanese SMEs in a simple and efficient manner. In addition, when exchanging information and or, and or communicating with Japanese companies, coordinators from our organization will offer support to ease the process between companies from different cultures and business practices. Please be assured that there are no fees involved for registration or operating on JEGATEC. As of today, we have 17,000 SMEs that were selected by our organization registered as members on JEGATEC. By browsing the platform and exchanging information with these companies, you may find new technology and potential partners for your business. 77% of the 17,000 SMEs on the platform are manufacturers, and over 30% of them have beyond 10 million US dollars in annual sales. We hope that companies such as yourselves from the great state of Ohio find business matching opportunities with excellent Japanese companies on JEGTEC platform. I will now explain how to use JEGTEC. To begin your business matching efforts. Here are the main four main functions on the platform for your benefit. <clears throat> First is my page function. Once you register on Jegatech, you will own a my page and you can edit the page as you like. Please use your page to pr、uh, promote your company to Japanese companies. Second function is company search tool. Many of the 17,000 registered Japanese member companies have English information available on their pages about their products, technology, and services. Find a company that interests you and send them inquiries to begin communicating as a starter for an actual business meeting. The third is needs function. The word needs on the JEGTEC platform means information on technology, products, and services. That members want or need to have. 
you can find various needs on the platform in a bulletin, bulletin board format. You may upload your own needs or on the other hand, propose solutions to the needs posted by a Japanese company. The fourth function is topics. This tool is also a bulletin board similar to the needs function, but it has a broader range of information posted on here. Exchanging general information or informing new product launch to the members. Unfortunately, this is mostly posted in Japanese at this time, but you're welcome to post what you want to share with the members in English. I'll go through these functional tools one by one in more detail here. My page, my page is your foundation when operating in the platform. So it is very important to clearly state your strengths and what type of Japanese companies you want to collaborate with in order to increase credibility of your company and maximize matching potential. In company search, enter keywords relating to technology or products that interest you to look up companies that may have solutions that you may need. If you find a potential company, send them an inquiry and, be and begin your communication that may lead to a partnership in the future. Next is needs function. And this is particularly important for sharing your technological or collaborative needs. And hopefully you will receive potential solutions from your fellow members on Jagatech. On the other hand, if you need needs if you find needs posted by other members and feel that you have solutions for them, then you can propose it through the needs function. For this webinar event, we have collected some needs from Japanese companies specifically targeting US companies, and we will send that list of needs with Jagtech links to everyone here participating in this webinar by email next Monday. And we will follow up with some more as they become, uh, become ready. So please review it at your uh, convenience once you receive the list through email. And we hope you gain opportunities to collaborate with Japanese companies. We will actually show you real examples of needs posted by Japanese companies in English at the end of my part later on with a demonstration of live operation of JetTech platform. Next is topics function. And just like needs function, members can freely post on a topics bulletin board. You'll find a general information about various topics, including product release, news about upcoming exhibitions, or even reports on past trade shows, among other possibilities. This information is at the top of the first page that pops up once you log into JegTech and shows the newest post at the top. So it's a great place to promote your company to other members. On this slide, we illustrated how the actual matching process flows. It says your company and member company on the slide, but this can be reversed as well. If you have a particular need, please try the company search option first. If you're not able to find any satisfactory results, then upload what you're looking for using the needs function. Then wait for proposals from other members. Once you maximize these tools and find a company or multiple companies of your interest, begin exchanging information and then move on to having a business meeting. If you have any problems at any point in the process flow, coordinators from our organization or members from ODSA will be available to offer support. Finally, I like to introduce two case studies of successful matching on Jigitech. The first example is when a company successfully used company search. When a Japanese company was searching for ways to improve the performance of its products on Jigitech, it found a European startup company researching graphene material. The two companies have signed an NDA and currently exchanging information for co-development project. The second case study is based on the needs function. When an ASEAN company requested for a technical partnership from a Japanese company on the needs function, a Japanese company proposed a valuable solution. 
The manufacturing cooperation established by the two companies has contributed to impro improved productivity. Thanks for your attention so far. We're almost done. Let me just summarize four main things you should do when you register on Jigitech. First, try logging in. Then enter your company information in my page. This is the starting fight point for maximizing Jigitech. Once you've done that, be sure to use company search and needs list. Lastly, if there are any responses or updates made on the four functional tools that are related to your company, the system will send you a notification email. So it is important that once you receive any email from this address shown here, please log in to check for updates. Now, before we move on to question and answer session, we want to show you a short video that shows you how it actually looks to operate the Jagatech tools we mentioned today. Please take a look. Here, we will explain how to operate Jagatech about the setup corporate profile function. Register your presentation and product technology services information in edit company profile on my page. Please register a top image as it will appear on the list of search results as well. About the needs function, this section introduces the needs function, which enables cooperation, collaboration, and partnership among members. Check the needs list for a project that your technology can help with. Make a proposal if you find one. Here is how to proceed from a needs-based proposal to business talks. When you make a proposal, the proposed content will be delivered to the person who posted the needs. The needs poster will check the proposed content and consider whether or not to have business talks. Note that when making a proposal, your company name and other information will be disclosed. However, please rest assured that the proposed content will never be disclosed to anyone other than the needs poster. After checking the proposal, if the poster wants to have business talks, a request business talks form will be sent to you and you will need to select do business talks or decline business talks. If you accept the request, coordinate the specifics of meetings, dates, etc. using the comments history field. The needs function not only allows you to make proposals in response to registered needs, but also to post needs from your company. When you enter items on the register needs screen, such as a title and overview, and make an application, the Jagtech Management Office verifies and releases the content. You will receive an email when a proposal is made for posted needs. Then, open details of proposals of details of needs to check what was proposed and contact the person who made the proposal. The result will be sent to the proposer via email. About the topics function. This section introduces how to operate the topics function. 
which enables members to announce the latest information and to exchange ideas among themselves. You can create a topic using Create a New Topic. When you fill in topics category, title, and other fields, and make an application after confirming it, the Jagutech Management Office verifies and releases the content. You will be notified by email whenever a comment on your topic is registered. You can also enter comments on other members' topics. This might initiate an unexpected exchange. About the inquiry function. This section introduces how to operate the inquiry function, which allows you to ask questions directly to a contact point of a company you found through company search or other search functions. You can start by selecting Inquiry on the Corporate Profile page. Here we have introduced basic Jagtech operations. For more details about these operations, please refer to the Operation Guide in the Guide menu. Thank you for your attention. Uh, now we will uh, deliver a live demonstration of how you can use the needs uh, function uh, for your benefit. Now we are showing you a live operation. Our staff member is operating the platform right now. So this is available in English, as you can see. And now we will click on the first company for an example. Uh, this company's name is Global Electronics Corporation. And it is looking, the title is a supplier wanted in the USA. Uh, simple enough, I think it's very easy to understand. Um, this company is an all-around electronic solution provider and is looking for a sensor supplier in the USA. As you can see, uh, if you go down and if you feel that you have a solution or you want to propose, uh, you go down in the screen. Oh, Yes, and you can click on this uh, tab, create proposal, and then uh, you go on to uh, sending them uh, an idea that you have, uh, a solution that you think that would benefit the company, and then um, you wait for their response after send, um, proposing the solution. So the second company uh, is called BM Plus from Saitama, Japan. Um, this uh, company is looking for joint product development. Uh, and if I could just read um, their post, it says, we are interested in working with manufacturers of automated guided vehicle. And the second uh, needs on this post is joint technology research. We would like to partner with those companies who develop wireless power supply to jointly work on creating new technologies. As mentioned before, if you have uh, any ideas or solutions uh, that you want to propose to this company, uh, you just click on the create proposal and follow instructions and send it to them. Now the third company, third and last uh, company that uh, we're going to show you live here is 
uh, called Sonotech uh, Company Limited, based in Kanagawa, Japan. Uh, this, this company, Sonotech, is one of the leading companies of ultrasonic cutter manufacturing. Uh, it has high expertise in cutting rubber material, among other materials. Um, if I could read their post, it says, while we currently have sales distributor in Chicago, we're looking for a partner to expand our businesses in the USA. As you can see uh, from these three examples, uh, there are a variety of types of needs posted on the needs bulletin board. It doesn't have to necessarily be complex um, needs request. Uh, so you should just post what, you're, what your company really needs or want at this time. And now, um, Sarah, I give it back to you, uh, and uh, you can proceed with the, uh, please proceed with the Q&A session. We'll be standing by for questions. Thank you, Mr. Abe. It seems there are so many opportunities and ways for Ohio and Japanese companies to benefit from the participation on the JGood Tech platform. As you said at this time, we would like to proceed with any Q&As, uh, any questions, and I'm not aware at this time that we have any questions uh, at this time if anybody would like to enter a question um, representatives from odsa or sme support japan are happy to address any questions all right well, seeing that we don't have very many, we don't have any questions, we'd like to proceed with our final speaker today, Mr. Hayakawa. He's the project coordinator of the Market Support Department for the closing remarks. Uh, Sarah, I think we have one question. Um, oh, just oh, we popped did up, one. Yeah. And Thank maybe you. Maybe, maybe the uh, listeners don't know how to post a question uh, at the bottom of the screen, if you could just announce that just in case. Sure. Um, at the bottom of the screen, there is a Q&A button. You just have to go ahead and push that button and type in your question. Um, so um, please feel free to do that. We do have one question from Rachel Ray, I believe from the city of Dublin. Um, can companies sign up for this program at any time or is there a specific window of opportunity? Mr. Hayakawa or uh, Mr. Abe, would you like to address this? Uh, yes, we will. Uh, let me share that with my team and uh, give us a second and we will respond uh, as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much for your question. I will respond to the first question. Um, when you sign up for this webinar, um, you should have received a link, an uh, email from us uh, with a link uh, to Jake Tech. Um, and, that, and that means that you are already registered on Jake Tech platform. So you own a MyPage already, uh, but you need to uh, fill in information uh, that you wanna promote uh, to other members. Um, so, uh, and there, there's no limit, uh, to this membership. Uh, once you, once you receive the link, um, and that once you were notified that you have, uh, membership, then, uh, this will not expire, uh, unless you want to, uh, <laughs> expire. But, um, so I hope that answers the first question. Thank you. I'm happy to say that we have received a couple more questions, so thank you. 
the next question, is there any opportunities within the medical sector? Uh, yes, to answer the second question, uh, we have a vast a variety of opportunities uh, in the medical sector. Uh, it is actually a um, growing sector uh, globally. If, if you could, if you would just search, um, type in, uh, you know, specific medical um, sector or equipment or some keywords that you may have that you have in mind, and then you should see uh, the list of companies uh, operating in this sector. Wonderful, and we will happily follow up uh, with the person who, answer, who asked the question and see how we may be uh, helpful in helping him uh, formalize the account and do a search. The next question, is there a need for professional services as well as product-based services? So, it, uh, Sarah, just to make sure, uh, when the question says um, professional services, does it mean uh, like attorneys, accountants, uh, consultants, uh, some um, service along those lines? Yes, I believe it does. Okay, let me confirm. Uh, JTEC is uh, focused more on the manufacturing uh, and um, trade-based uh, uh, companies. Um, so once, uh, usually, uh, we, we're not sure until we look into the details of the work, but um, usually uh, we don't accept memberships from the professional uh, service uh, providers, uh, because of the vast majority of our members are uh, companies that make things or uh, companies that deliver things. Um, and we don't um, uh, really welcome sales uh, work uh, to those uh, manufacturing companies. Hope that answers. Thank you. And we can follow up with this company representative as well and see if there is uh, a place for those, their products or services on J Good Tech. We will follow up. Thank you. Um, we have another question here. What if a Japanese company I reach out to does not have a person who speaks English? How can we bridge that communication gap? Great question. Uh, yes, Sarah. Uh, great question, indeed. Uh, and this is one of the um, great features that Jagtech offers. Um, if a company that a uh, U.S. company reaches out to a Japanese company, uh, they don't have um, a person that uh, can respond in English, uh, then uh, we will show you uh, later at the end of our presentation uh, contact information uh, to SME Support Japan and specifically our division uh, where you, uh, you can contact our coordinators. Uh, these are experts uh, in the industry, various industries and in various uh, regions. Uh, we have coordinators uh, positions specifically for United States. Um, so they and their uh, profession in English and Japanese, so they will bridge uh, the gap uh, between uh, U.S. and Japanese companies in terms of language, but also um, business practices as well. So please feel free to contact us uh, when you have a problem. 
Wonderful. So those services, those interpretation services are available through J Good Tech. Yes. Thank you. Um, we have another question here. Um, they would like to know about setting up distributors in Japan. Is that something that J Good Tech would be able to help um, find distributors? And how would he best uh, put that request into J Good Tech? Uh, yes, uh, about finding distributors in Japan. Uh, certainly, uh, you could use Jagatech um, platform for that purpose. Uh, and uh, one first one, uh, we have many um, trading companies registered on Jagatech as well. Uh, so um, you can look for distributors by using the company search function. Uh, look for trading companies, uh, keywords such as trading companies or distributors or uh, product names uh, or material that you want to distribute uh, or type in distributor for that industry. The next function is, uh, as mentioned, the needs function. Uh, you want to set up your own page, my page, and in the needs section, you want to post uh, who you're looking for. Um, as mentioned in one of our examples, uh, you can say looking for distributor in uh, what industry and so on. And you'll be able to uh, access 17,000 Japanese SMEs uh, that may come across your needs post and hopefully uh, you'll get some response. Hope that answers the question. I believe it does. Thank you. We have uh, two more questions here. We have a little bit more time, so I'd like to go ahead and address those. Um, are there opportunities to collaborate with partners for manufacturing products with embedded software? Uh, yes, uh, certainly we have many um, companies that deal with products that with uh, embedded software. Uh, so uh, please maximize uh, the tools that are available to you, uh, search function and needs function, et cetera, and, and look for what you want. Thank you. Okay, we have um, a couple more came in. Is promoting available real estate space allowed? Yes, if you're registered on Jagatech, uh, you could certainly uh, circulate that information, promote that information uh, using uh, the topics uh, function. And you could post uh, information about a specific uh, real estate in specific region in Ohio, I'm assuming, uh, for factories and other uh, purposes that you see it fit. Uh, so please use the topics function and um, finish uh, registering on uh, JGTEC so uh, the poster can see who you are and understand uh, what you do. Wow, thank you, that's exciting. Um, another question here, seems like there are 12,000 Japanese companies 
and 5,700 companies in the rest of the world in your program, what are those other countries? Okay, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for that question uh, about the um, companies, the number of companies listed on Jigotech. Uh, but um, those numbers that uh, this uh, poster is uh, mentioning uh, is, I believe, an outdated number. Um, you're probably seeing an old um, number somewhere on Jigotech platform. We'll uh, clean that up hopefully in the few near future. Uh, but the actual number uh, numbers are uh, 17,000 Japanese companies and 7,300 uh, overseas companies registered on Jigotech. And now uh, the countries uh, that are uh, overseas countries um, registered on Jigotech are mainly in the ASEAN uh, economic region. Uh, those are, Thailand, Vietnam, uh, Taiwan, uh, but we also have uh, companies registered from France uh, and also from Texas, uh, US, United States as well. Uh, of course, we have other countries, Indonesia and um, many other uh, countries, uh, but th these are the um, main countries uh, in Asian countries. Well, it seems we have one final question. Um, the question is, does JGoodTech have industry news or stories about companies um, with information about Japan? I don't... Okay, um, great question once again. Um, we do have uh, stories of companies posted in uh, JGTEC platform. So you can find uh, various stories um, that may uh, be of interest to you. Uh, but as for uh, news on various industries, um, JGTEC does not uh, provide uh, that information. However, uh, you would be more successful at finding uh, news on industries on our uh, sister organization in Japan called Jetro. Um, if, if you could inquire, if you would inquire ODSA uh, for that information, I'm sure uh, they'll be happy to keep, provide that. Um, Jetro is an organization uh, just like ours, SME Support Japan, uh, but uh, specifically um, focuses on trades uh, so they would have uh, news and information about various industries. Hope that answers. Yes, and and we do have represent. Uh, we do have contacts at Jetro, and we would be happy to make those connections. So thank you. That's a wonderful uh, suggestion. This actually concludes all of our questions. I'm so pleased that we received questions and were able to continue this conversation. Um, as I said, our final speaker today is Mr. Hayakawa. 
And I would like to um, turn it over to him for the closing remarks. Thank you very much for interesting uh, introduction, me, uh, Sarah. My name is Ryo Hayakawa, project coordinator at SME Support Japan. We have covered all the agenda for this webinar. We hope that Jagtech will help create co-innovation between US and Japanese companies. Please begin by logging in into Jagtech and have a look around the site. If you have any questions about Jagtech, please contact SME Support Japan. Okay. On next Monday, we will send you a list of Japanese companies' needs for U.S. companies. Please take a look and consider proposing a solution for Japanese companies. We wish you good health and successes in your business. Thank you for taking time to attend our webinar today. Also, we appreciate all the support we received from ODSA team for the webinar. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you in business meetings with Japanese, com uh, Japanese companies in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Haikawa. We truly appreciate all the effort that you uh, put forward with us to make this presentation possible. We definitely are looking forward to continuing these discussions with Ohio companies and Japanese companies. And again, to the presenters, I will be sharing all of this information in email form in the very near future. Again, you have my email address as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me as well. Thank you very much for your time.